Welcome to a Blood and Pigment live battle. I am Guy, and this is... Joseph here. And today we are going to be uh, doing a little bit of an amphibious live battle. I will be commanding the New France Garrison. And against the New France Garrison, I have... I'm playing the Iroquois, 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 and I'm using the Mohawk, Mohawk sub-faction. And the scenario we are going to be doing is rescue. I have a hostage from the Mohawk Nation that he is trying to rescue. This is from uh, No Peace Beyond the Line, but we're using the factions from Fire on the Frontier. So let's get to our, our list. As the attacker, I think you should start. I got a pretty simple list. I'm using uh, veteran braves, three canoes full of them. Um, my centerpiece of my force is Black Kettle. Uh, pretty powerful uh, commander, turns out. Um, he has cold blooded and evade and great warrior. So, this middle canoe here, they're great warriors, so they can get that minus one bonus on any one action they do during their turn. Um, and then everybody else is just veteran braves. My commander will be Jose Francois Hertel de la Fresnier. Would you like more champagne so you can say that better? Yeah. <laughs> we, we got a, we cracked a French bottle of champagne because I am commanding the French. It's been a while since I've been a, a French list, uh, especially new French, but he is a historic commander that costs 18 points. And he it has with him a unit of eight Campagne Franchise de la Marine. These are uh, these gentlemen right here in his breastwork. I also have another unit of the Campagne Franchise de la Marine <laughs> that's uh, up there in the hillside in a bush. Uh, they have a unique ability where they can swap expertly drilled for elusive so this one down here that he's commanding have expertly drilled but that one up there have gone to the bush and rubbed mud on their face and they now have elusive in addition to that i also have one unit of macelles artures right here eight men that are manning one swivel gun and i've upgraded them to trained a lot of men on a swivel gun. It is eight, eight of them. I was excited because I just painted some, and the the uh, Campes, Campes Francois de la Marine are supposed to have white uniforms. And I actually painted some of my uh, cannon crew with white coats. Because they're good. Here we go on turn one. I have six clubs. I have the Ace of Diamonds. So I will go first. Prior to this, I have opted not to vanguard my commander. He does have the vanguard ability, but because I deployed anywhere I wanted on a landmass 12 inches away from the uh, short edges, he's where <laughs> I no wanted to him to be. <laughs> but I will start by I'm going to move my uh campes marshes de la marine which i am now from this point forward going to just call marines or you can their uh affectionate name for the developers is french fries so. french fries <laughs> I, I like calling them marines <laughs> after measuring the distance i'm just going to take a shot from there instead of moving way up on top of the cliff on top of the cliff i have i am just over 20 inches away so I am looking for tens on eight dice. And you're shooting at? I am going to shoot at your uh, command canoe. Oh. So one hit. On my great warriors. On your okay. great warriors. And you definitely have the elevation advantage, so I'm gonna have to get a, my normal save is six. I do not have heavy cover from a canoe. Hidden doesn't work. Hidden doesn't work. So I'm looking for a seven oh. to save. There went one six seven point model. Oh, I also have a marksman, old school marksman. Ooh. And then two and a resolve dice, and I pass them both. But seven out of ten. So one great warrior is dead. It's not a good start. Ah, a good well, a good start for me. <laughs> uh, then I have one action remaining. I'm going to reload, and then I am going to push to reload again. The kettle approves with this cold blooded. All right, I've moved my canoes. They have the paddle straight, so they can move three inches 
every movement without being assigned to the sweeps. Um, now I'm going to take a pot shot. I'm at long range. I'm at 19 inches from there, so it's definitely going to be a 10. The captive gives me a penalty to hit you, but since I'm at 10, it doesn't really matter at this point. I am going to use this canoe, eight guys, fitting on 10s. I would usually have poorly equipped with the Mohawk. Since they were so close to the English, they did a lot of trade with them. They have well equipped at the expense of losing cunning. So I will not get that th third reload. So here's eight dice looking at 10 versus your commandment. And I got one hit just like you did. And you're in hard cover because you're impressed for it. I am indeed. So I'm looking uh, one dice, looking for sixes. I got a nine. I'll then roll fatigue. I am looking for fives. Three, so I take one fatigue. And then I will reload, reload twice with my club. So that canoe is activated, but it is done for the turn. Second activation, another club. I have a five of spades, so I'll be going first. I want to uh, get this fatigue off of my commander because I think that there's going to be a, a bloodthirsty shot coming. Cold blooded, <laughs> Cold -blooded volley. shot volley uh, from at least uh, you. Ha this canoe is fully reloaded now. They're all over. Uh, they're all <laughs> so I am going to activate my commander, and uh, my commander is going to be able to use his expertly drilled ability because I'm activating on a spade. You call that a formation? Looks like a sloppy formation. <laughs> it's it's hard to fit everybody in the breastwork. <laughs> I'm going after your command canoe again. All right, got a penalty of four. Yep, uh, but I will use a command point from him on the uh, dedicated shoot action to drop the uh, the number I need down to what, nines. All right, Black, yeah, I assume you're attacking uh, my command unit again. I'm going after your lead canoe. Yeah. Lead canoe? That's the lead canoe. No, no, the, uh, the commander canoe. Okay. Uh, one of the faction rules for these North American um, Indians is when you shoot at them, they can actually drop to prone. They only get a minus one bonus instead of minus two but I can do a free drop to prone, which is going to make my paddles not work unless I stand up again. But I'm Doesn't going to do that. Does it give you a fatigue? It does not. Oh, nice. But I'm going to drop to prone, so I'm going to save on fives. Fives. Which is helpful, but I don't have to waste an action standing up again. So If I hit, so here's my dedicated shot. Looking for nines? I'm looking for nines on nine dice. So I have one hit. Oh, yeah, one hit. Okay. I don't want to lose these great warriors. An eight. Good. Ooh, okay. Sweet. But I do have to take two fatigue checks anyway because of the expertly drilled. Because of expertly drilled. Looking for sixes, which is natives' weakness. I rolled two threes. I don't know how I feel. Actually, I do know how I feel about that. I feel very bad about that. Um, is it fortune time already? <laughs> I think it's fortune time already. I think I use my very non impressive. Uh, wampum beads which were much smaller than eBay made them look but <laughs> <laughs> a six and a nine and a seven whoa oh, that, was worth it. that is not what I want <laughs> I'm then going to spend my next command point to move my swivel gun instead of moving my swivel gun I am instead going to just shoot at the uh, the right canoe I don't, with tracing the line of sight from the swivel gun, I would have to shoot over the crates on the pier, which I do not believe would give me a shot because they're blocking terrain to the uh, the low canoe. For a scatter gun. Yes. Yeah. Right. So I'm rolling three dice. These are looking for tens. A four, seven, and a one. So nothing hit. And my swivel gun gets two reload markers. All right, for my club, I'm going to activate my left-hand canoe, and I'm just going to take a pot shot. I think I can see your command unit. I think I sort of can. It doesn't go across the barrels. Nope. So, looking for tens again. Eight. All right, I've moved my three canoes. I'm still 
at 10 range. So I'm going to use my left hand canoe and shoot at your command unit again with eight dice. Using a club, so I'm going to shoot and then reload twice. Looking for tens. Nothing that time, so. Oh, that one was cocked. I'll reroll the cock. All right. Last card. Last card indeed. All right, I got a 12 of spades. Versus my eight of diamonds. You can, uh, all right, I've moved my canoes for the third time. Now my command unit is going to go. Uh, first, I'm going to stand up. I have a spade, but they're veterans, so they're going to get two actions. I am going to use my command points, one on my left hand canoe to shoot again at your command unit, eight dice. And I got a hit that time. Uh, two hits, right? Because you're looking for nines? I think I'm still at tens because of the penalty from the- Oh yes, yeah, so one hit. Captured merchant, or the captured. And I, <laughs> I'm looking for sixes on my saves because of hardcover. And now for my resolve, I'm looking for fives. Also an eight. Ooh. Okay. And now I could give my command unit a command point to use my marksman. But I don't have my ruthless kicking in yet. So I'm gonna have my other canoe shoot again. Pretty clever doing two clubs and then a spade. I know. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> so this is my right hand canoe shooting at your command unit. Looking for tens again. Oh, I got two that time. Oh, wow. All right, two dice. I'm looking for sixes. Come on. Two sixes. <laughs> And now I'm looking for fives. An eight. I can't get a break. Okay, so that's two reloads for nothing again. And then my command unit itself is going to shoot. And now I really want to kill somebody. I'm 14 inches away. Penalty of three. That puts me at nines. Plus the, your merchant guy makes it tens. I can use Great Warrior to make it nines. I can push myself to use a marksman shot to make it eights. So I'm gonna do that. All right. I have seven dice because one of my guys died. That's only two hits. Why don't you re-roll this one over here that looks on in between a six and a four? I'll take it. One. <laughs> so two hits. I'm again looking for sixes. Six and a seven. Last of French. <laughs> and now I am looking for fives. A one. So I take one fatigue from your volley. Volley of 23 muskets. <laughs> Brussworks is an amazing invention. <laughs> well, that's turn one. I'm not very happy with it. I lost one guy. I didn't kill any of yours. You got a little bit of a fatigue, but so, so do I. And I have reloads all around. You have... Some reloads too, so we're kind of equal, but you haven't lost anything yet. Oh, you still have a unit. Yes, I still have my swivel gun that I can do something with. So they have, uh, I activated them on a diamond, so I'm going to fully reload them. You gonna push? I don't think I'm going to, to push to shoot on nines. <laughs> <laughs> That is truly the end of the first turn. I've drawn my hand for turn two, and I've drawn an event. I'm going to use the original event table. And I roll a six, which is... Wind and weather change! Hooray! Okay. Shall we use... We're in the north, right? Shall we use the cold weather? Yeah, let's use cold weather. The table doesn't really have cold weather, but I think that's appropriate for our forces. Uh, okay, rolling a three is a minus one on the weather chart. We have a light snow, oh. limited visibility of 16 inches. That hey. will make a difference for your blokes up there on the cliff. You know, even though it does look green uh, uh, up here, 
in the wild untamed north of Oregon. I have experienced a couple snows with uh, snowfall when it's been uh, bright and sunny out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, I am being having a veteran force. I'm dissatisfied with my hand. Maybe I'm being greedy, but I gotta throw it away for one more wampum bead and draw a new hand. You should drop the bead in the, the dice bucket when you use it for extra dramatic effect. It's kind of pathetic drama, drama, drama though, because it's so small. <laughs> hey, it looks bigger on camera, right? <laughs> so what, do you like your new hand? Another event. All right. Maybe we'll get the snow to go away. For the event, I rolled an eight, which is inspiring command. The commander of the player who drew the event immediately gains a command point for the remainder of his turn only. Ooh, three command points. Black Kettle is extra awesome. Wait, wait, did he have three or? He only has two, so now he has three. Oh, nice. So my new hand is what it is. And here's the first turn. I got a uh, 12 of hearts. A seven of clubs. I'm really thankful for well-equipped in this game. This is the third club I've played. Yeah. I don't think you're going to be able to shoot a lot this turn with all those reload markers, but you've surprised me in the past. Veterans plus three command points are going to get four actions each, basically. Yeah, that's, that's enough to even shoot and reload again. Or uh, go prone. I mean, stand up. <laughs> I'll stand up right now. <laughs> so I have activated my marines that were in the bush. French or, fries? Or french fries <laughs> that were in the bush. And I've moved them all the way up to the cliff edge because we determined that with the cliff there, that counts as hard cover. That they're they're hiding behind the cliff. I don't cliff. remember discovery, uh, discussing hard cover. Hard cover. Look at stone. Come on. <laughs> But they are then going to take a, uh, they are under 16 inches away from this canoe right here. So they're going to take a shot at them. And they hit on nines. It's their shoot save is six, or the shoot score is six. Are the, is your unit gonna go prone? No. No, all right. Here is eight dice on nines. Uh oh. So, I have two nines and two tens. I did say I was going to go prone, right? No, no, no. <laughs> it's nice that uh, you have to declare it before the dice are rolled. <laughs> well, I rolled fairly successfully there. I lost one guy. So, one death. Two resolve. Looking for sixes. And I take one fatigue. This has been a crummy boat ride so far. <laughs> All right, I move my canoes. I'm gonna actually use my command unit again. Well, maybe not. I'm trying to make use of my cold-blooded. Well, the only one that would, would that canoe over there. Yeah, but they can't shoot yet. Actually, or you can rally real quick. You got tough, don't you? Uh, everybody has tough except for my, uh, okay. except for the artillery crew. Okay. I'm going to use my command unit anyway. All right. I have three command points, so that makes... Well, no, I won't, because I want to... I waste my three command points if I had to activate on the club. So, reload and shoot. All right, under a foot. Right. Under a foot. So I'm going to actually hit on nines this time. It would be eights, except... I don't want to hit my own old Iroquois guy. It's, it's, so, the eight, hostage, yeah. hitting on nines, and ball and shot. Ooh. Two hits. Nice. So I'm going to roll two dice, saving on sixes again. A seven and a two, so my first casualty. Okay. And then two dice, looking for fives for fatigue. Oh, a one and a ten. So I get another point of fatigue. That's what I wanted to get you at two fatigue to slow you down a little bit. And I lose one model. Those are six point models, right? Yep. That's why I don't have a lot of them. Yeah, me too. Mine are all six or seven point models. Here's the next turn. Next activation. Three hearts. I have an eight of hearts. So I'll ah. go first. 
I, my activating my command group, they go down to only one action. I like it. All right, my uh, commander, Jose Francois, he's going to tell the swivel gun gunners to shoot at your commander's canoe. Rude. So uh, we are under a foot right really? now. So that would be hit on eights. Yeah. Are you going to go prone? I got to ask every time now. <laughs> to be fair. No. Okay. Here, looking for eights on three dice. Five, five, five. You know, it's uh, quite early, but I'm going to fortune that. I've already spent two. Oh. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I did. Oh, one escaped. So I got one hit. All right, looking for sixes in my canoe. At eight, good. And now let's just hope I don't get a fatigue. And I do. Two fatigue at a command unit. Nobody likes that. All right, and then uh, to end up my turn, I'm going to reload my commander's unit fully, and one fatigue is going to come off because of tough. All right, my t uh, diamond. Well, your heart. The heart, yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to use it on that, but now with two fatigue on my command unit, the whole situation's changed. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to half reload it, then they're going to rally. My commander has Vendetta French. He really hated the French. So, they fail, but then I get to re-roll one dice, and they fail again. That was... All right, here's the last uh, activation of turn two. I got a ace of clubs. Ten of clubs. So I go first. Wow. Okay. So my command unit's going to go. In this case, I have the possibility to get four actions, but since I have two, <laughs> uh, which is good, because now I get my full three actions, even though I have two fatigue. So... I am going to rally. I don't want to rally, but I am going to. A three and a seven. My vendetta against these Frenchies lets me fail again. At least you had the chance. I just salt and wound. And then I can reload. So that was one action. I can reload for one. I can tell them to reload for one. I have three command points this turn because of that event. Now I have one action on them, one action on them still. Do I want to shoot or reload or rally? Let's throw some more bullets at you. Okay, so they're both seven man units. Let's go with these guys first. Oh, we're, you're going to half fire? You're going to half fire. All right. Slightly less than eight, so that means I'm going to be hitting on sevens usually. But since you have that captive, it's going to be eights, and there's only three shots coming at you. Oh my goodness, no hits! <laughs> and now, half fire for my command unit. I'm going to use Great Warrior, so I'm actually going to hit on sevens. So, here's three dice from my command unit hitting on uh, sevens this time, and I failed again. A lot of is that your last fortune? I do. I hear your last fortune being used on these three I'm dice. I'm not gonna spend fortune on three dice, but <laughs> now I'm entirely unloaded and I've been entirely ineffectual this whole turn. What about these over here? They only have one. They're half loaded. I just no. use a command point to half load them. <laughs> <laughs> so far, the Indian musketry has been a little off. Maybe it's the tipsy canoes. So uh, you have one. You have movement left. Uh, the rule is with. With boats, even when you're going under sweeps, you have to move or you drift. And as someone who spent a lot of time in a canoe, that is very accurate. That they do not just stay in the water <laughs> unless you're paddling. But you can move them any amount under an inch as you want. So I'm going to move backwards one inch because I'm all unloaded. I wouldn't like to hit the beach and have to, and be charged by hard chargers, hard charging French fries. <laughs> Well, I will activate my last card, uh, which was a Ace of Clubs. So my last action activation is going to be on my Messel Zotoros. Uh, I am going to roll three dice for the swivels. I am under eight, so I'm hitting on sevens on three dice. 
Oh, let me see. Can I, can I pick on your your commander's canoe? I cannot. Now, with field guns, you measure from the barrel of the field gun, and it you are just over eight inches away. Yeah. And I am someone who loves lower numbers, so I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> so I'm going after the uh, the closest canoe, hitting on sevens. Three dice. It's an eight and a ten. Two hits. Looking for sixes, I decided not to go prone again. Two fails, I'm gonna use my last fortune. I don't wanna lose place point models. Oh, one still success, one success. But it's better than that. And two fatigue. Oh, <laughs> and then they go prone anyways. Should have just done it. <laughs> Bad day for the Iroquois. Right, and I still have two reloads on that one. So that's the end of turn two. So not looking great for me. I got a lot of reloads. My musketry was entirely useless that entire turn. I felt bad. Um, I'm not sure I can. It's gonna take some miracles to reverse this here. I don't. I guess I have one unit with only one reload, and they don't have anybody dead. But I just haven't made a dent in your force yet. Turn three. Turn three. All right, here's the first card of the third turn. I have a Queen of Spades. To my 11 of diamonds, which is a three action card for veterans. Yeah. So I am going to activate my commander. Uh, he is going to spend his first command point telling these guys over here who managed to kill someone with a swivel gun to reload for one. <clears throat> and he is going to spend his next action I'm going to charge across the water. <laughs> so I am activating on my spade. Uh, I've already had my Macelles Artours reload. And I am s seven inches away from the bow of the canoe. So I am going to jump over. I lose an inch jumping over the fortification. And then I'm going to move up to it. And then I'm going to push to board your canoe. I backed up specifically so you couldn't do that, but I just totally forgot you can walk in the water. But so it's the, gonna be, you have scouts, so that kills me. But if it wasn't, you it would have to take the movement penalty in the water as well. Yeah, uh, now the, way, the rules in Blood and Plunder is you three inches away from shore, you're actually allowed to stand. So your your guys could jump out right here. To, you know to to wade through the shallows so let me uh move a unit up we're kind of joking about it but <laughs> i don't think eight men can fit in this canoe <laughs> no they can't <laughs> but that is okay so i have, so I have uh, nothing to defensive fire in so this is pretty much death blow for me because I forgot about the three inch water rule. <laughs> so I, I am to hit back with. I am pushing to yeah, do this, fatigue. so I do have two two fatigue, and I'm using a uh, um, command point command point and push. So I'm going to roll eight dice, and I need uh, fours because I'm hard chargers. But I'm also using my throwing weapons. Oh, you have thrown? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have thrown weapons. So I get to re-roll these. Thrown weapons work like uh, pistols, but only on a charge. It's gonna, gonna hurt. So here we go. I'm looking for fours. Does the commander have hard chargers? He has uh, expert ambushers. Ah, uh, yeah, I get the hard chargers. Yeah. So uh, it looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, six hits two re-rolls, so there's a three and a two. Ha! Ah, you missed one. That's the best I can So, <laughs> seven hits. Seven hits for seven men. And I save on sevens. I do have battle hardened, so take that. Oh, nice. You get to reduce the number of people you get by one. There's two saves. It's not looking good. So two saves. That means I roll six fatigue checks. 
I only can fail two of them. I failed all of them except one. So my entire command unit is eliminated. And you are in the canoe. Yes. So if you can walk on water, so can I, right? <laughs> what, well, what do you do? So I have a diamond. I have veteran braves. I'm going to use one action to move here. Ah, ha, ha. And I have scouts, of course. And then on one action to jump in. Oh, and nice. Two fatigue. So you can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. I have hard chargers as well, but I don't have thrown weapons, so that that would be nice for you. And I still have one fortune if I need it. Here's eight dice hitting on fives. All right. Actually, it's sixes. Sixes. Because of the merchant, right? No, no, that's only in range oh. attacks. Okay, good. One, two, three. This is slightly soft. Which one? You're going to call it seven? I'm going to call it a seven. All right. So four. Four hits. All right. Uh, my guys are saving on sevens because they're French. <laughs> so uh, four dice, saving on sevens. That is an eight, a seven, a one, and a two. So two are going to die. And Warcry makes me roll an extra resolve. Yep. Right, so two companions of Masha's Delimony are dead. It's pretty good in your save, though. And then four dice for Warcry. I am looking for fives. So all of them, no fatigue. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I have another action, but it's pretty much wasted because I can't rally and I can't fight. Actually, do you mind if I just do a reel before I do the charge? Oh, please, please. Next, next activation. I got a uh, Ace of Hearts to my diamond. So with my Ace of Hearts, I am going to reload that there swivel gun and shoot it at the canoe that I can shoot at. Yep. <laughs> are you going to go prone? I am prone. Oh, you are prone already. Thanks for mentioning it. <laughs> <laughs> so three dice. Um, oh, uh, shoot. Uh, going back. Uh, now this is a cool thing. When one person spots something, everybody else needs to do it. Uh, we need to drift two of these canoes. That's true. On my activation, um, the wind was going from this direction. We did a good wind change. We ignored it because it wasn't going to be important. But now, now it is. It is. Okay. So I'm seeing ah that doesn't that doesn't put the swivel gun under four inches, but it's still under eight. So I'm looking for sevens. Uh one hit. And you're saving on fours, right? Yep. Hey! It's a save. And no fatigue. So they are back up to two reloads. And that is their turn. With my diamond, I'm gonna activate my shaken. Unit that's <laughs> no canoe. They would usually have three. They're shaking, so they have two. So they're gonna be dedicated rally, rally E on fives. Oh, my dice are kind of cold. I, uh, I share your pain. I am so sorry. Vendetta French is gonna help me. Even oh yeah, my guy is dead. Gotta say I'm dead. Four dice. <laughs> right, and the last card is mine because you lost a card because I took out your commander. So uh, I'm going to activate a eight of clubs. Those get gents up there. I'm going to reload fully and shoot at your panic canoe. Six, seven, eight. If you are first game in the uh, Blooded Pigment headquarters, <laughs> That's been it has it has a little bit, at least for the natives. <laughs> All these lovingly painted models of yours. Uh, he, I'm not measuring. I He's not really there. He just looks really dramatic there. So I'm over a foot away. So that is still hitting on nines on eight dice. Uh, one hit. Saving on fives this time. It's a complex <laughs> formula. We got 
sixes minus two for laying down is fours plus one for the elevation is fives. And I fail again because that's what I do. And wow, I got two tens. Oh, <laughs> where was that previously? Uh -huh. <laughs> right, pretty, uh, uh, pretty terrible turn three for you. <laughs> I should have uh, routed you there. You took no fatigue from eight guys charging you. Oh, no, my dice are on, were on fire. Yeah, that was impressive. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't think you would expect me to jump over the, the barrier. And <laughs> I specifically <laughs> counted on you not doing that because I was in the water. So, lesson learned. All right. Well, you're down to only two cards, but I'm still at three. But I got a little bit of a situation going on right now. So I'm going to hope for a high card. Yeah, it's a bit crucial right now. So uh, I've got two hearts and a club. So I'm going to use a fortune to get rid of this hand. If I do activate my command group, they'll have to rally, but I can use a command point to fight. <clears throat> well, it is what it is. All right, are you ready? No. A, a jack of spades. One spade. So I am going to activate my command group. Uh, zero actions. Zero actions. They are forced to rally. So they have happened by two dice. Oh, that doesn't count. Uh, eight and a four, so they go into one fatigue. Then I'm going to use a command point with them to fight the people that are in their canoe. I do not get hard chargers and I do not get thrown weapons. That'll help. So I have six dice hitting on fives. Three, six. I can't believe my whole charge gave you two casualties and no fatigue. <laughs> dice don't count. This was a six. Uh, six hits. Six hits. This is brutal. So I'm saving on sevens. And I lose all but one. So I'm going to use my last fortune to try to stay in the game, even though deep down I know it's not going to work. Again, I save on one. Didn't you have a seven save and you saved all your men? Or all but, all but two. <laughs> yeah. Two, you only got four hits. So I have six, five men dead, which means I take five resolve checks. Because I have battle harder, which seems a little sad right now. And I take three fatigue. My commander is then, now that he's no longer <laughs> in combat, he's going to tell, hey, reload the swivels. Are you within eight? Oh, you oh you ran away. I had to, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am within just barely within eight. <laughs> of them oh, wait wait going from the inside do we go from the in outside <laughs> or the inside yeah i'm with an eight well that is my commander's turn <laughs> all right i get my spade now on my routed units this is free rally fun. free rally so i'm gonna do the guys in the boat okay <laughs> um this is Dice five, six, and seven, and I get two T off. All right, this is pretty much over. It, it is next card. It is anytime I've lost commanders before, it's uh really hard to recover from that. Uh, yeah, I have a uh, five of hearts. I'm going to do the mean, heartless thing and reload the swivel and point it and shoot it point blank at the men on the beach. Yeah, so. Uh, it looks like I'm under eight, and so I'm hitting up three dice on sevens. Two hits. Saving on nine, ten. No saves, and they're all dead. And then I am at two reloads there. For my, my turn is done. <laughs> it, it is, it felt heartless, but it's... It's the right thing to do. <laughs> cold-blooded. Very cold-blooded. I am then going to activate 
my last card, uh, a five of diamonds. I'm going to activate my Marines up on the cliff side who are going to fully reload and then push to shoot down at your, uh, your prone canoe. So drift again. Oh, well, it's residual movement. Oh no, you didn't, you didn't drift to be in with you. Uh, this looks like we're on over, over a foot. So hitting a nine still. So no, one hit, no, two hits. I'm not used to reading the blood dice. Yeah, they're not as easy. One save. Oh, and I'm shaking again. They're back to bed. All right. Uh, so that's the end of turn four. Uh, the number of strike points you have forces you to make a strike test, and you do not have a commander or an officer, I so you think automatically I have four strike points <laughs> to your zero. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have three dead. <laughs> the Iroquois decide he's not worth it. No rescue today. No, no. Well done. Good game. Uh, thank you, good game. I'm sorry it ended that way, yeah. but when I saw that charge range, I had to, I had to take it rather than shoot. I, yeah, it's I'm, unusual for that water walking to happen, so I kind of just forgot about it, which is very bad. And then I thought I could counter charge and route you very easily, but then you passed every single rolled really well on that you should have known expected to charge through the beach though these are marines they like to keep their feet wet that's a good song, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it uh i i expected charges from you so that's why i that's why i was uh thinking about that water <laughs> yeah because the number of times when i've thought oh that that those those native americans in that boat they're really far away they, they won't be able to charge me this turn and then I've been sorely surprised by a surprised beach landing. It's conceivable, I guess, for you to me to start in a canoe six inches from land, move forward three inches, and then charge um, three plus eight, 11 inches. So I could charge 14 inches away at sea in one activation. Yeah, yeah. For one fatigue. That it is dangerous. It is. It is. Uh, but I managed to uh, get the drop on you this time because you didn't back up as much as you should have. Just should have a little bit more backwards. <laughs> <laughs> My musketry on turn two, I was hoping to put some fatigue on you and slow down that command unit, and it just didn't happen. I felt if I had been able to do a little better there, that could have made uh, turn three a lot more productive. But Well, the combination of the of the merchant the captured merchant or the captured dignitary yeah and and her chargers made it so it was i was uh always plus one to hit and i was always saving on sixes instead of sevens yeah well i had cold-blooded which only kicked in a couple times because you kept toughing it out and then i had the marksman which is helping plus great warriors so i had bonuses coming at you but i just wasn't rolling well no no uh I was surprised that I only lost one man from your <laughs> three musket folly. Yeah, that was embarrassing. I was surprised that you you completely ignored my um, artillery crew I had over there. But oh. I thought I, I put so many on the board, I thought you're never going to target these because you have to kill seven men in an <laughs> eight-man unit to make it so the gun stops shooting. <laughs> and your command unit is the dangerous one. And I won't... I need to get that... Uh... Mer that captured merchant, so I pretty much needed to charge him at some point. So the more fatigue I could lay down, the better. And the more yeah. fatigue I got on you, the better my cold blooded was. But well, that's why I was going after your command unit too, because yeah. if uh, between a choice of them, I'd rather go after the high value than low value. Seven point great warriors, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a that felt like a really fast game. Yeah, four turns and pretty much a massacre. And this goes to show you that uh, not all Blood and Plunder matches are three and a half hours. This uh, <laughs> this was a half an hour game. <laughs> more or less. So uh, for more of our videos on Blood and Plunder, check out our uh, Blood and Pigment YouTube channel. And also head on over to bloodandpigment.com. We have lots of great articles there on 
painting, terrain building, some battle reports, uh, really nitty gritty explorations of some of the tactics and factions in this game. Blood and Plunder is a, a great game. And check out the Fire on the Frontier uh, book that just came out recently as well. Some new lists, both of these lists are included in there. Updated Iroquois and a brand new French faction we play today. And as we always say, keep your dice ready and the wind at your back. Yahar! And keep your canoes four inches away from the land. Yeah, always back them up <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs>